Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein... I kind of forgot that nanomaterial and vulcanite blocks are ingredients for Naquim cubes. Uh, so now this cute little quarter block build doesn't actually work because there's two inputs missing. We don't have room to toss them in here um, because we're already going to have like... I mean, we could trim this down a bit, but if we're going to have like uh, a train load and change of heavy bearings and Naquim ingots... Uh, And also the heavy bearings are apparently going to get imbalanced. Based on our testing. Well, okay, the heavy bearings are only going to get imbalanced as they run out. So I guess it's not as bad. But I don't think we can fit two more materials being dropped off over here. Uh, that we would then belt down to these machines. Also, there sort of isn't room to do the input on this side for the machine in the middle. I guess I could always move it back a little bit. But then it would ruin the way it lines up perfectly with this, uh, this fluid container over here. Let's go back to the drawing board, I suppose. Did I already switch this off? We should probably keep that running for now. Probably a good idea. I'm pretty sure there's no way to... to fit everything I want to fit in this quarter block. Unfortunately. Feels bad. So, what's the alternative? I mean, I could obviously just tack on a request a station like right here which would feed these three but it's going to be encroaching on a theoretical build over here and that doesn't feel so good there's no way even if we remove this belt we can't really squeeze this in ah uh, unfortunate what what else does plate go straight into Oops. Uh, Aquim Tesseract. Bunch of data cards. Is there anything that we'd want to put plate into with the direct belt? Not that I'm seeing. Tesseract. Data, 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 data. Roster suit. Energy storage. So no, not really. Hmm. I guess the build should just take up more than a quarter block. How much plate can this spit out? 180 per second, right? Because it's belt bottlenecked. And we could do better than that if we really want to, but it's not really necessary. And this is only looking for 14.4 per second, so we could make this build bigger. I don't think we need to, and I would have loved to do all of this with direct insertion, but... Uh, but it just doesn't line up that well. So we may as well make it slightly bigger if we're going to have to make the whole thing not fit in a quarter block anyway. Let's add some floor temporarily. Bluesy jungle. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. In we go. And... So I guess we're not direct belting. How are you? Not too bad, thanks. Feeling a little bit better. Um, I do like this for the drop-off, though. And we need fabs. Material fabricator. That is good, indeed. 
Maybe we could split it instead of having it go through the output uh, station. What if we had, like, the Naquium plate pick up right here? Bunch of Naquium cube bills right about here. If we have more than two or three... Well, actually, if we have more than two, uh, we're going to need some belts. I'm sure we need, well, I, I imagine we need more than two, no matter what the graphs say. Why don't we put this here-ish? Or maybe... I do want it to be symmetrical, so why don't we do the fluids on the inside? That's nine tiles, isn't it? I guess we could always go some threes. Actually, this wants like seven tiles here anyway, right? And we could either do the fluid drop-off up here. Or maybe down here somewhere. Uh, so we're going to have... Maybe do the requester for those other two solids over here. And we'll do the pickup station like this. So we'll have Naquim plate and Naquim cubes right next to each other. That kind of follows a pattern. I don't mind that too much. Wait, did we copy... We did. A couple of random pieces of rail. Get out of here. Be gone. Rouse. Saying, I guess we're keeping this. Uh, and I think I can just copy from... One of our extant builds. Yeah, we'll probably do it this way. That's going to have the other ingredients for the... Uh, Naquim cubes. I guess there's no reason to put them all the way up here unless we want to fit a good few of them. Uh, three solids for input is a bit of a pain. We could do what we did here. I suppose. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alternatively, what if the fluid input was on the outside? And we can have a nice... Clean belt down the middle for the plate input. Uh, if we're going to use inserters like this, though, well, each of these is quite slow, right? 12.8 plate per second is not as slow as I imagined, um, but the belt is way more than fast enough. And then we could do the other two inputs on the sides. I kind of want to use loaders, though. And that takes up more space if we do it in the middle. Maybe we should just copy what we did here. But we know we don't need this many machines. That might be okay. Uh, so it's going to be facing... This way... I guess the Naquium plate input belt is going to be a little bit different. But then the output belt is going to have to... It's going to be a lot more awkward. I'm going to have to, like, belt it around here. I wanted to do a small build.
I mean, I could always just have way more plate machines than we need with one of these supporting just like three of these, but we still don't have room for the the input item drop-off. Maybe we do them side by side after all, and like we did before. That's quite neat right there. This would go top left, but we maybe want it up here. Wrong book. Uh, let's see. Right about like this. Why? Okay, that's weird. Think it goes there? Nope, one off. Oops. Why are uh, you like this? Was it this way or this way? Yeah, that's that's way off. Two tiles to the left. Just like that. Oops, already had that. Alright, so if we go for this design... Let's say we do most of... Uh, we keep what, most of what we already built. So this goes here. But instead of the machines being here... Oh, I thought these were the same size. They are. Why does this use long arms? Why is this not like a tile close? Oh, I see, because... Wait, no, I don't. Well, let's improve it, shall we? Don't mean to remove the pipe. Because if these line up, they should be the same size, right? Nine by nine tiles. And we can't fit a station here, can we? Literally, the train stop itself. It's going to be in the way of these machines. I guess I could put the plate on the right. And that'd be fairly neat. So, what if we swap these around? Put this over here. Swap this around as well. That goes there. And... Put a station right about here. And then we put these over here. Uh, it should line up with this one. Also, wait, what? Don't tell me it's going to be in the way of the corner. It is, isn't it? No. No. <laughs> Why you got to be this way? All right, uh, in that case, put this back the way it was. Uh, 
So that goes here. And then what? Maybe we just use up some of the space down here and call it good. We won't have to have this awkward side station at least. If only we could filter what we put into the trains from the bulk rail loaders. I realize that kind of walks all over the idea of the bulk rail loaders. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could put these down like two more tiles and use long arms. I don't think it's going to be that easy. So if this goes up a couple of tiles, that collides. That's no good. So I guess we're going to put this way down here somewhere. In that case... I kind of do want the belt down the middle. Oh wait, if we do... If we do a belt down the middle and we use loaders, there's no way it's symmetrical. So maybe something like this instead. Uh, should we prioritize the cubes, or... I guess there's no need to put a splitter here, just put another loader. Should just not quite be room for the underground that I want here. That's kind of rude. So maybe something like this. Loader, like soda. I guess we could put this back here. And... Since we're already using all this space, if I put them a couple of tiles apart, we could just repeat this pattern, but... I don't know if I like that. It doesn't reach quite as far as I expected. Hmm. I don't necessarily have to put this uh, station here, though. No, I think I was on the right track putting it over here instead. Even if this one might be a bit awkward to output to. So we're looking for... Let's... Back to front. Oh, I can't snap this where I want. That's rude. Alright, so like this. And like this. And I think we could fit like eight of these here. Pretty comfortably. Are we... Uh... We're kind of counting on these consuming equally. Which they're not doing. Hmm. It's probably not enough to make it non-functional, though, if we're only looking for a train load and a bit of each. No, theoretically, we could end up with... Red on... Uh, with uh, Vulcanite blocks on one side and nanomaterial on the other. Hmm. Not a fan. I think in future I would consider using just one bulk rail loader or unloader, even with two cargo wagons. 
just so we don't have to worry about this sort of thing. I guess we could always belt it around and push things through to one side. Not really gonna work. I'm gonna want to put this out one tile. Boop, 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 and boop. Something like that. Well, I guess these belts aren't going to be used. And... I guess this whole time the, uh... The cubes here haven't stopped working, so maybe I shouldn't worry about it. Where the heck are our ingots right now? Oh, did we dump them all over here? No. Yes, maybe. Nequium ingots. Where are you? Very slowly filling back up. Why is why are we still only working on this side? These designs are the same. How did this one stop but this one didn't too much crushed naquitite so if I just let some of this in and we get some powder and it starts working is it then going to work after the fact? Oh, it's already stopped. Uh, I don't like this. We're going to end up no with no room for the powder in here. So isn't it supposed to be, we get more refined naquitite than naquium powder or vice versa? Uh, relative to how much demand there is for them? The one on the left spits out less powder than refined naquitite. And the one on the right spits out a lot more powder. So we should want the one on the right to be running right now. I guess instead of restricting refined naquitite from either of them, we need to restrict the unfiltered outputs from both. Okay, what what if what if we remove these filters and this one says powder is less than Less than or equal. Do, do these stack different? Uh-oh. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, what's the stack size? 20 and 20. Okay. So if Naquium powder is less than or equal to Naquium crushed Naquitite, let this one run. And vice versa. And just forget about this entirely. And 
copy paste flip. Because I think these are on opposite sides. They are. Why didn't I just do that in the first place? Maybe I did. Well, in any case, it's working for the moment. Should probably put some higher tier beacons, uh, modules in here. Uh, how many modules is this, though? 5, 10, 15, 20, 40... Plus 24, 48, 50, 96, times 2. That's a lot of prod 9s. It'll have to wait a bit. Okay, back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. Can we copy this again? And... And then? I guess I'm going to just do the same thing again over here and hope it doesn't cause problems. Don't know if we necessarily need the purple belt though. We need to make room for the outputs as well. Oops. Empty out our inventory a little bit. So it's going to be... Wait, what am I doing? It's going to be like this. How about we put the other inputs in a similar spot? Actually, that's way more clean. Can we do that back the other way? No, because they're going to use the same underground paths. But what about... No, not really. Alright, just leave that as it was. Maybe move that back a little bit. So those are our inputs. And we could just do an underground belt where the inserters would go. And I guess we don't really... Wait. We move all of this down one tile and put our outputs here and manage to squeeze in some undergrounds. Okay. doesn't go there. And then we'll just do the old delivery cannon chest over here, I think. Actually, no. I, I think I would prefer what we decided to do over this way. More storage space. We're just going to use a little bit more than a full bulk rail loader. And push it to the other side. Alright, so on the opposite end... Well, first of all, 
Let's copy past of that. Except this is going to be a little bit different. Because it's going to be going back the other way. Maybe I will put some different colored belts just so it's easy to look at. Easy to see what's going on. And that can go... Really? Alright. I guess put this over here. Why is this facing the wrong way still? Evening. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, I need like a upgrade planner. For some of these belt colours. How many colours do we have to play with? I think I'd like the... I was going to say I'd like the dark blue for the Naquim cubes, but I guess that's just going to make them harder to spot. No, let's just put some test inputs in and see what happens. Set filters blacklist. Read the contents of the container. Why? Oh. This one's kind of interesting how this one's biased to pick up uh, vulcanite blocks, and this one is picking up uh, nano material. That's kind of weird. Regardless, we're also going to need a uh, particle stream. And I guess that one can be like a 5 or a 7 or something. There we go. That actually lines up really well. That's not actually that bad, I guess. That's what we'll tell ourselves. Particle stream. And... Naquium. Uh, let's do the same thing over here, just for test input. Aquium Ingot. Civil play. We forgot to filter the outputs. Let's get rid of those extra bearings. Okay. How fast are you capable of? 200 per second. So why are there gaps? Hmm. The inserters can really easily keep up with the heavy bearing output, but they're swinging really often, uh, picking up just one bearing. Definitely not the most efficient way we could deal with this. How about, since we've got this room here now, we may as well have a container for them. Just go... Bearing. And... You know what, I bet we don't even need the uh, container for this. We could just loop it like that. Because that's always going to take priority uh, over the inserters adding more bearings.
since the inserters won't swing until we get low on bearings in the machine. Can we actually put this up here? I don't know if that looks neater or if it looks too weird because the belt's going over the edge of the the bulk rail unloader floor texture. Let's put it back here. Alright. Uh, so why are you not outputting... That's, that's a pretty good reason. This doesn't go here. This one doesn't line up. Bruh. Also, we don't need this one here. I guess we don't need any of this. That can just go straight over there. Uh, and this whole thing needs to move up one tile. There we go. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little bit hard to follow, but other than that... Loader loops are so good, indeed. Yeah, as long as you don't have to store much of the item that's being recycled. I mean, this will store like 8, uh, 16, 24, and then some... I don't know exactly how much fits on a corner belt. Let's check. Bearing, bearing, delete, delete, one, two, three, is, is that legit, actually? We could just delete it like this, five, six, seven. So it's only one less item that fits on a corner belt, that's uh, a little bit surprising. Unless there were some shenanigans going on where it, like, pushed an item... No, we picked up eight. And we picked up eight. Yeah, so seven fits on a corner. Input acts as storage, so there's always space. Yeah, especially... Depending on the recipe, the storage can be... Kind of big. Alright, so we don't need this. Uh, and I guess this input may as well be down here, where it makes a bit more sense. And almost forgot the part where we get plate output over this way. Might want to do... What's the stack size for this? 20. Yeah, might want to do the same thing over here where we limit the front one. And we'll still, say, provide stack threshold 100. That should be fine. It'll only take a few seconds or so to push the other 30 stacks. And we may as well... I mean, I could put an underground here, but it'll just make it a little bit harder at a glance to see if we've got plate. Hello, hello, Dilka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so I guess we'll just use the same settings as we had before. And that's probably fine. Plate and not plate, actually. Mad Dame Salsa, thank you so much for the 16 months. Very much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. 
Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I misspoke slightly, but I'm just as appreciative. Also, Vervasant welcoming. What do you need all those cubes for? Uh, lots of things. Let's see, what do cubes go into? I was trying to cut it down to a three building build, since it seems like that might be all the throughput that we need. But it didn't want to fit. So since we're using two quarter blocks, uh, I, I decided to just use all this space anyway. Gazalnik, thank you so much for the 14 months of the Prime as well. Much appreciated. And welcome in to you as well. Hype Train, thank you guys so much. Alright, um, so is this finished? We need to remove the the unnecessary floor. Minus a little bit for the aesthetic. How about this? I could leave a little square floating there. I guess. Does that look okay? There's no way to have it centered. I don't know. Alternatively, we could just put this down here. That, that might be a little bit better. Get rid of the test inputs. Probably just fill this in. Uh, definitely fill this in. Kind of want that filled in as well. You are being sneaky once more. And... I'm realizing these pipes are unnecessary. That actually looks kind of cool. Maybe we fill this part in. That seems okay to me. Okay. I guess that's our build. Fantastic. So this part at least can stay where it is, almost unchanged. Switch that off for now. Well, I guess there's no reason to. Um, this is going to need moving. Quite a lot of plate here already. A bid. Even distro. Fantastic. Delete that. Uh... I guess if we pick these up in the right order. Not that Particle Stream is particularly valuable, but it's quite easy not to waste any. Oh, I guess we're going to have to pump it down here if we don't want to waste it. Alternatively, I can just borrow one of our fluid wagons. A long one, please. There we go. All right. Please park here indefinitely for now. And I'll send it back to the depot when we're done. Is that going to pump? No, it needs to officially be stopped at the station. There we go. Why, why is it not pumping more? No, oh, it's... It is. It's just already getting much slower. Hmm. A little bit more pipe. That should be a bit faster. 
overall. Where are you going? No, don't bring more. Oh no. Okay. How many how many trains are coming? It's just this one. Alright, just park over here for, for the moment, please. Uh over here, please. Until empty. That's never gonna happen. Just thought this was for something specific. Wait, what? Oh, no. No. We're just kind of refactoring and rebuilding. Just kind of felt like it. It's not strictly necessary. But, I mean, you can see how this build... We used to have a vanilla train drop these off directly, uh, and that station's not necessary anymore. And this build just sort of grew out of this one, and it's not all planned. So I just wanted to make something a bit neater. Alright, have we just about pumped this particle stream? Shouldn't be much longer now. Shouldn't be much longer now. Hurry up. Oh, is this one full? It is. Huh. Uh, okay then. I guess in that case... No, don't do that. Remove this, remove this, remove this. And remove this. And that should pump as quickly as possible. Which apparently isn't very fast. Okay, it's done. I uh, don't care about this. Okay. Now, put these two out of the way for the moment. Uh, I guess the condition doesn't matter. Pick this up. And... All of this as well. Make a quick blueprint of this. Actually, no. Uh, uh, select new contents isn't going to work. Because we're using bulk rail loaders. Aquium plate and cube. Snap to... 86.25.1 and replace our last version I re-downloaded Factorio and are now making a new save hope you have fun with it welcome in Vinmars alright so first we need more floor That was faster than I thought it would be. And that should be the build. We might have to go back for more material fabs, because I was only carrying three. Also, we didn't put signals here yet. Also, I don't want the trains coming in here yet. Also, I think we just sent trains to pick up more fluid, which I don't want. No. No. Okay, you haven't picked it up yet. Go back to depot. And you're bringing solids. That's fine. Alright, so I want to go back for five uh, material fabricators. We also need some more belt. And do I want to steal some of these colored belts? Just to make the input the belt color is a bit more obvious. Maybe. We'll worry about that a little bit later. Oh, we didn't need more belt. 
Wait, is the teleporter close by? It kind of is. So we only need the material fabricators, right? Boop. Uh, I just want to make sure before the machines start consuming that they're, they're going to be consuming uh, from the nanomaterial and vulcanite blocks as symmetrically as possible. We needed fabs, right? Five material fabricators already on the way. Fantastic. Okay, this is the one thing I don't like about the teleporters. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, up, up. How's science doing? 54% and it's stuck. What are we missing? Material 4 is not part of this research. Uh, it's Deep Space 3. Deep Space 3 is rip. No, it's not. It's just slow. Apparently. I wonder if I could redo this. I don't know. With all the inputs and outputs, I doubt if I can make it much more succinct and small and stuff. Okay. Through the teleporter. Onward to the build. Apparently there's an item missing down here somewhere. It's a random piece of extra belt that's not supposed to be there. Okay. And then... Get our signals done. Uh, and are you still... Bringing fluids. I should have switched this off. Oops. Maybe there's only solids on the way still. No, this one's fluids. And it's already picked it up. So that's uh, 180k. We should be able to fit all the particle stream here. I hope. Oh, this is just having plate delivered now? Sure. All right, so there's all of our solids. And here comes that extra particle stream that we didn't want. Burp. No plate. Why is there still no plate? Because I think we dropped off all of our ingots over here when they did come up. Oh, also, we do have a bunch of plate right here. But that's going to go in the train stop. I don't think we really need a buffer of plate specifically for the cubes. The ingots here can just serve as that buffer since this can spit out as fast as the belts. Or at least as fast as two belts. Technically it can only do 200 per second, but as long as the uh, plate to the train stop is saturated, it'll spit out 180 plate per second down here when we only need 38. Oh yeah, how long does this take to load? A little bit longer. So let's make this 30 stacks. Oh, it's going to be worse when they're back to back. Are there more trains coming? There are. Hmm. 
I really wanted to see how long it takes to load the train if If this was already saturated before the train gets here. I'm sure there'll be demand for another one soon. That's fine. It's only a few seconds anyway. Alright, so what? how are our ingots doing? Did I just see a yellow light? I did. Right on time. So here come our ingots. Fantastic. There's our cubes. And I guess we'll check back here one day and hopefully that'll be sufficiently balanced to always work. Oh, also there's plenty of empty space here so we can probably go and steal the nano material from the old build. Did we already switch this off? Nope. Just go and even distro this. Maybe I should make some more room in the old inventory. Why do I have advanced furnaces? Whatever. I'm sure it's fine. I guess I should pump the, uh medical stream down this way as well. Again, we can probably borrow a train for that. Like one of these ones. Did you just... Uh, malicious compliance. It went for the nearest... A uh, station with that name that it can path to. Alright. How about you... Pick up from here... Until full... Or until... Inactivity, but also fluid count. Uh, and then go over here and wait till empty and we might want to rename this one wait no no that's fine actually wait no it isn't actually uh while we've got the construction trains here i guess it'll be potentially a bit easier if Two, three, four, five. That is not easier. If we pipe it straight through here. Yeah, I figured you'd do that. Also, we've still got an LTN train coming. I thought I switched this off. Alright, so I guess it's going to keep going back and forth between these two. We don't, surely we can't fit that much more particle stream, though. I wanted to get the last of this moved over. How many cubes have we made? A few. At least seven. Okay, so this one's looking pretty empty now. I 
Are you going to overfill yourself? Not just yet. Uh, and I guess we're going to get rid of these as well. May as well put the bearings in here. I don't think we're going to run into too much trouble with this getting overfilled. Because the ingots are going to disappear pretty quickly. Until we catch up since we... I was going to say since we broke ingots, but it's more like uh, a system of balancing this stuff that didn't work finally got frozen somehow. Even though it only got frozen on the one side. So all of those are making ingots, except for this one. Oddly enough. I guess that's right at the end of the belt. Okay. What is all this? That is going to empty out. And we're going to have like 16,000. It's barely going to fit here. And then we're going to still have this left over. I guess we could take it somewhere else. Yeah, I know there's a consumer of particle stream that's always got demand. That won't be too much trouble. It's taking forever to pump the last dregs over here, though. Alright, did we remove all the solids from here? We did. I guess pick all this up. Pick all this up. Uh, how much plate is that? Too much. Pick all this up. What's this train doing? No, it's bringing... No, 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 no. Oh, I should have switched this off first. I forgot there was a train stop here, because normally we use bulk rail loaders and unloaders. Ravna. Uh, I guess we don't need this train stop either. I'm sure some of the bots are stuck by now. Go give them a hand. I guess we don't need that wire anymore. I'll just let the train empty. I actually got plenty of room in my inventory right now. Just put that there for the moment. Hopefully putting in even more bearings here, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Should be fine. Might take a couple of trips. Oops. No, 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 don't die. Oh, that was easy. A mere hundred stacks. Okay, might want to turn off my uh, exoskeleton while I'm touching on and off of these platforms. And over here. Looks like we're fine. Alright, so now we can get rid of this and this. Uh, and this is just another Naquim Cube build as well. Okay. Now it's going to take a little time to get rid of. But we're tidying up. I 
Are you done? Basically, yes. Fantastic. And that should push the last bit of fluid into the pumps a bit more aggressively. Oh, never mind. I guess we'll delete one particle stream. All right, where are you going now? Let me see. Could you instead go up here, please? And we'll see how much of that... Oh, there's like no room left for the particle stream. All right, we'll take it somewhere else then. Over here, in fact. Uh, let's send the trains back just to get them, get their inventories reset. And I may as well empty it to make sure we don't have any split stacks or anything. Did we already switch this on? We did. And here comes ingots. Exactly when I wanted to check on them again. Very cool. All right. And I think I'll do another... Like, if this is not enough cubes for the whole run, I think I'll just mirror it in this other half block. Equium cube. Right about here. And let's start picking up the pieces. Can I just shift C or is it gonna... No, it should be fine. And shift C. And we don't have room for this plate, apparently. I guess that's not that surprising. Okay. Next is... Oh yeah, we can dump plate over here, I said. No, that's not going to work. Not with this build. I guess I could do it like this. That does work. We almost used up all the plate. It's more over here though. Are you going... Uh... Are you doing all your knack processing on land? All the stuff that we can prod bonus, yes. It's over here. And we almost have another train load of Nakwim ingots already. Cool, cool, cool. That is a lot of Vulcanite blocks. Hope we don't run out of space down here. Looks like we're okay. This build is not getting deleted. That should be fine for the whole playthrough. And should be okay to put these Vulcanite blocks here. 
just stuck with a bit more plate. What a good problem to have. Okay. You are pretty much done. Oop. Okay then. Yeah, I guess I won't worry about these dregs over here. Uh, and there should be one more station where we want to get rid of the particle stream and recycle it. And we would also like to steal the nanomaterial. Now we're getting a bit full. How much cube is over here? Most of a train load? I guess we'll just shove it in here. Once more. And... Gotta turn those pumps around. Alright. Decon. All of this. All of that. Nice and clean. Your buildings. Easy to look at. Easy to see what it's doing. Okay. And that'll be the end of the old Daquim Cube builds, I think. Oop. Look both ways when crossing the rail. Bots are taking their sweet time recharging. Uh, looks like we should be able to empty this out this time. I guess it doesn't matter if this is perfectly balanced. That should be fine. Off you go. I'll just leave the station here for the moment because the train will come back. And that way I won't have to keep track of it. But we send it back to the depot. Already done. Alright. Back you go to Mr. Dapo. Which will reset your schedule. But that train was trying to come here. Spooky. Alright, let's trim all these bits of straight rail left sticking out. And this one. And this one. And I think that's it. Fantastic. Just about out of inventory space as well. Shift C. Sorts that problem out. And the 
was just a little more up here. Cool. And that is chockers. Where can I drop off some... Uh, some red cubes. There's really only two places? There's only two recipes in space that use vulcanite blocks. Really? Okay. I guess I'll head up this way on the way back. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty nice, pretty clean, pretty... what the hell is going on here? Oh no. Is this actually going to work? Is it just because I used Shift-C? I'm pretty sure it is working. I think we manually put heavy bearings in this output here, which made it too clogged. That seems fine. Cool. Alright, so this is capable of 192 uh, Naquim cubes per minute. Uh, which is like a train load every four minutes-ish. We've been using 25 per minute over the last 10 hours, 32 per minute over the last 50, less than 30 over the last 250, and so on. So I imagine this is fast enough. Probably. Let's go drop off these uh, vulcanite blocks. And then we'll figure out our next move. Accidentally brought some nanomaterial back as well. That's fine, we can dump it in the mall. It's only a little bit. Okay. So what's next? Well, where's our current bottleneck? That's what I'd like to know. We seem to be struggling on Deep Space 3. Deep Space... Science 3 is missing Deep Space 2, is missing Naquium cubes. Did I not make this accessible for short trains? I did. Provide stack threshold 400. I forget where I copy-pasted that from. But that was a mistake. No doubt we'll have some catching up to do with the cubes. If we check back in a few hours and see that the, uh, the cube production just hasn't stopped the entire time, then maybe we need more of these. How fast does this eat plate? 38.4 per minute. Uh, which is like... 3 ingots. 4 ingots per second. Uh, per minute, was it? No. 4 ingots per second. Really. Almost. And this thing is capable of... Only 3.8 ingots per second. If it's going full tilt the whole time. Which it isn't. But still, uh, the build is capable of going way faster than our historical consumption. 
so I, I fully expect it to catch up. We could also go ahead and use some of our tier 9 speed and efficiency modules. Why don't I just go ahead and do that? Right now. We've also got 40 prod 9s. Maybe we could start putting them in here. Even if we can't do it all at once. This step is earlier in the process and everything goes through this. Uh, did we... I think we... Oh. We haven't put 9s in all of these yet. But while the prods are scarce, I think since everything goes through here... Oops. No. 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 Why are the bots picking it up? No. Those are my bots. Okay. Let's put this back where it belongs. Why would you put the... I think the beads, like, fell onto the belt, actually. Okay. Anyway, uh, what I want to do is... Tier 9 speeds. I'll put tier 9s in one of these, just so we can see the ratio. I don't want to pay ludicrous power... Uh, 18 megawatt, 4 megawatt, 400 kilowatt. That seems fine. That's going to be way more efficiency than we need for the centrifuges. And I guess a little bit more than we need for the advanced chemical plants. No doubt it's a little bit more than we need for this as well, but that's okay. But I'm not that fussed about the prod bonus at the step of ingots for the moment. So then we're going to replace that on this side as well. Why, why do you do this? Why must you make my house of order a house of chaos? There we go. That should be more than a little bit faster. Theoretically, wow, we almost doubled it. 7.68 ingots per second. Are the ratios good, though? They should be. I'm pretty sure we built this for tier 9. Um, so this should be able to spit out way more powder and... Uh, find an aquatite, then we need to saturate this stuff. It's already getting to the end of the belt and piling up over here, so yeah, I think that's fine. Um, we're producing 7.5866 naquim crystals per second, and capable of consuming way less than that. This was overbuilt so that it can export to the rail system, uh, but I think we significantly overbuilt this for the needs of the playthrough. Because Naquim Crystal, outside of making ingots, hardly gets consumed at all. I believe it only goes into one recipe? Naquim Energy Data. Yeah, that's literally it, and it's one-to-one. -one. So we can track how many how many crystals have what Okay, consumption, Naquim energy data. Last 50 hours, 6.7 per minute. That's pretty slow, but then we haven't been churning research all the time. Well, Theoretically, we would need three per second for our target, right? I'm pretty sure Naquium energy data doesn't go into anything else besides a uh, catalog. So we need uh, whatever we need for Naquium ingots plus three crystals per second uh, for the end, for the absolute end of our reaching our targets. 
I think we've more than doubled what we need, and that's before we put prod nines in here. More than doubled the surplus, that is. Might want to redesign this a little bit at some point. But then... At this rate, we're going to spend 600 years just redesigning everything. Oh, are these guys trying to... Trying to store this stuff over here? Yes, yes they are. Give it back. There we go. Alright, so how's ingots looking? Still not saturating. That's to be expected. We neglected it for a, a little while. Okay. Now what about some bigger builds for our data cards over here? Oh, ouch. Okay, well, let's just... I just need the recipes, really. Let's just copy this over here somewhere. Uh, and we're looking for some power. And I want to see what it looks like with tier 9 modules. I'm going to want as few machines as possible, partly because we have to deal with the Arcospheres. This one... Uh, this one... that one really doesn't matter. Don't know how fast we're going to need, uh... Aquium processors. I think they do go directly into like Deep Space 4 or something. Bunch of mole stuff. There it is. Deep Space 4. One makes eight. Which means like one eighth of three per second. 0.38 per second would be enough for our ultimate goal. Theoretically. Uh, let's get a beacon two and some speeds, efficiencies, and where the heck did that build go? Get rid of all this confusing stuff. I'm just interested in the rate calc. Let's put all those data card direct builds together. And then we have this one. And these two? Oh no, that's just one. And there's actually five of these? Wait, how are there five of those? I thought these all went directly into... Science 4. I guess this is part of Science 3. Wormhole data. Wormhole data. No, that's part of Science 4. So which one of these is... Are these all Science 3? I think they are. Yeah. Year of 8 is 3.75? Oh, wait. 0 0.38. The calculator is not rounding it up, is it? Three and three quarters. Or rather, point th blah, words.
is three. Bruh, what is this calculator? What? What? Point three eight times eight, three point oh four. Three divided by eight, zero point three eight. Ravna, that's something to be aware of. Okay, uh, so all these have nines in them. Well, they should by now. Right. So each of these, I think, are exactly... 0.625 per second, except for... This one? Was that the one that goes into a different tier? It is. Well, in any case, uh, we're going to need all of these to be three per second, right? How many efficiencies do we want? Preferably just a little bit more. One megawatt each. Maybe we'll go for that. It's only like crafting speed 11 versus 10.5, though. Okay. So, one per second, we need three of these. And I think for the rest of them, they, ha they all have the exact same rate. Which is exactly half of this. Recipe time, 10 seconds. And this is 20 seconds. So that means we're looking at six for each of these recipes. That's a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, maybe not a lot, a lot more. And as for these ones... So these are all just over 3 per second, right? 3.15. Uh, how many of these do you want to have? Too many. 7. Don't know how many uh, Tesseracts we need. I know they do go directly into one of the sciences. I think it's tier three. Also it goes into Compact Beacon, Matter Stabilizer. That doesn't matter. Oh, it also goes into Naquim Processor. And that's one to one. Okay. So however, however many Naquim Processors we need, which was... 0.375 per second. We're adding on top of... Uh, 1 makes 6. Three over 6 is 0.5. Yes, that is correct. That does sound right. Okay. So we need like uh, point, let's just call it point 0.8, no, point 0.9 per second, Naquim Tesseracts. And that's going to be an obvious two machines, that's not too bad. And how many of these? Uh, two, I guess. We just barely need more than one. All right. That's more than I was expecting. Uh, that might actually be hard to fit in a rail block. Do we make a giant rail block? Do we 
I really don't want to be training Arco Spheres. And I don't want to make uh, multiple Arco Sphere balances. So I guess we make a big block or something. Do we necessarily want to use bots for all the Arcosphere stuff? Maybe? There's a lot of things to drop off here as well. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, consider our IO here. I'm just going to have... So all of these need arcospheres for both input and output. We can just consider that implicit. This one wants Aquium Cubes, Blank, and Crynite Rod. Oh, how about this? That's a little bit easier. Just remove the arcospheres from this, and then we can see the icons for what these what this recipe needs. Uh, well, Tesseracts are going to be here and an export, so really we just need to know that this one needs cubes and such. Cubes and cryonite and Naquium plate. I'm considering multiple train stops with direct insertion for some of the smaller ones. Uh, and then this is four different recipes, with six each. Oh, are these going to have the same... Yeah, these all have the same inputs in common, except for Arcospheres. Which we've already accounted for up here somewhere. Plate, uh, significant data, cubes, blanks, cryonites, and AI cores. How many was that? Like seven? Remove the duplicates. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is how many solids we have to import for this. We also have to worry about thermofluid. Was it just the one? No. We need cool thermofluid just for this build. And then one, two, three, four, all the ones that go into bio, uh, at bio astro. All the ones that go into deep science three need super cooled and output. I'm just going to call it warm thermofluid. Uh, this one does not need super cooled. This one does. Wait, what? Oh, that's an output. Okay, so they all need... All the ones that use the fluid need supercooled, and this one outputs negative 10 as opposed to 25 degree. Okay. And we need advanced neural gel for the Naquium processes and nothing else. Also, we have some scrap outputs I forgot about. Good grief. Junk and broken data cards. Nasty. Six 
each of these, seven for this, I think it was three for this, two and two. I don't see how we're fitting this in one block, especially with the balancer as well. But we can try. Just going to kind of put this here as sort of like a guide for how much space this takes up. Also, why don't we just start? I, I really don't think we can cram this into a block, but I guess we'll try for starters. I think we need to do like a quad block or something. A quad block would be exceedingly spacious. Maybe a double block. Plating. Uh, and all of this sort of technically fits in here. Where is this getting its power from? Ah, uh, who cares. Uh, and the balancer part. Thought I copied that somewhere. This thing. Okay, first things first. Can we do sets of six of these around, like, quarter blocks down here? I guess, uh, if we're going to try and fit them around that, we may as well start with what we already built here. I'm extremely skeptical about this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can the bots keep up with a lot of the IO? Because we don't necessarily need to, like, direct insert with a lot of this stuff. It's like three per second for a bunch of these items. Also, we would want these to be speed nines as well. Hell, maybe we would even put uh, nothing but speed modules in the beacon for these ones. Maybe not. What would be the difference in speed? 10.5 crafting speed versus 15. It's really not that good to pay dozens of times. Well, okay, let, let's see. Um, 200 kilowatts? No. 200 kilowatts for 10.5 times crafting speed versus... 15 crafting speed, so it's like almost 50% faster, for 57 megawatt. Uh, so we're paying 285 times as much energy. Uh, and that energy does have to come from somewhere. Power plants do cost UPS. And space and machines and stuff. So depending on the power plant, really not that good to spam nothing but speed. But considering that these machines are held up by these uh, Arcosphere flip recipes, might be an issue. Um, but really, my main thought is, if all of this was running at max speed somehow, could 50 Logibots keep up? I imagine the answer is yes. Especially if we can do this all in such a relatively small space. So if we do like... Oops. If we do the usual... 
output stations. You're kind of in the way. I guess I guess we could push these a little bit towards the uh, corner. Because the train pickups for these are not going to be very often. So maybe we could actually... You know, push this back like here. So they'd be blocking each other, but we have more room. Potentially. For now, we'll just see what it looks like with the standard layout. Uh, we would need one, two, three, four train stops down the bottom for output for these. Uh, output stations for these two is six, seven, eight, nine, ten for the, uh, for the scrap and junk. Well, it's not scrap, it's broken data cards. And one for the solid inputs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't foresee a good way to squeeze eleven plus stations into one block. So what if we made it two blocks? Instead of a quadruple, what if we just did a double? I think there'd probably be plenty of space in that case. And the bots still don't have to go too far. Hurry up and delete. A second block with all the stations? As in you just sort of belt it away to the other block? Well, in any case, I'm, I'm basically going to put another block here and, like, delete this rail in the middle. Uh, but for the moment, I'm getting kind of stuffy, so I think I'll take a little bit of a break there. And we'll come back and have a crack at this. Let's set up some words on stream. Midden, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Maybe I'm missing something, but why 11 stations? Why not two stations with five... Five or six each? What do you mean five or six each? Uh, we've got like 11 outputs, and we can do a bunch of shared inputs with bots at one station for the solids. Uh, unless I didn't understand the question. Okay. So what if we delete this? Delete that. Start some words on stream. Do some... Well, may as well save the game right about now. Six inputs of different things per station are not a problem with bots. Yeah, no. We could do... Theoretically, we could do any number of solid inputs with bots at one station, uh, depending on the throughput. All right. That should be working. We'll start the words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Nope. Okay, sorry that took so long. Suffice to say, 
I'm not feeling so well, so, uh, sorry about this, but we're gonna have to call it there for today. Let's see who we're raiding. The hose, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Sorry about the timing. I guess Diablo is finishing up. I've seen him stop and start at all hours. Um, who else is streaming Essie? I just got here. Sorry, 55. Thanks, Turtle. Uh, maybe I'll do a Factorio stream tomorrow to try and make up for the hours lately. Uh, if I'm feeling better. Space Block Factorio. What does that mean? I hope you feel better. Alright, thanks, 55. Okay, um... Oh, there's a German slash English SE. Sure. Let's have a peek. Den ganzen Blödsinn, den ich mir reingestopft habe, weil die Roboter an waren, habe ich weggeschmissen. Hier sind jetzt schon wieder 5000 drin und ich habe das Bedürfnis, doch nochmal loszufliegen, aber dann komme ich in der Endlosschleife. Yes, I understood no, none of those words. But I don't see any other SE around. So, let's, uh, let's say hello, I suppose. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, check out the Blueprints or Discord if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And confirm it was German? Uh, yeah. Take care, Midden, thanks for dropping by. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, 55. And everyone else, thanks for dropping by today. See you next time, Knoised. Thanks for the well wishes. Alright, take care, guys. One viewers. Hey Tyrannosaurus! Vielen Dank für den Raid! Willkommen an alle! Was für eine Ehre! 70 